how to solve incidence matrix so first we will see in incidence matrix that's if branch go from away from node we will write plus 1 if branch is coming towards the node we will write minus 1 and if it is not in the node we will write 0 okay so coming towards the node we will write minus 1 going away from the node the branch is going away from the node we will write plus 1 otherwise equal to 0 so how many branches in this graph 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 branches and how many nodes 1 2 3 and 4 nodes so first we will write here branch and here we will write node okay so how many branch a b c d e and f and how many nodes 1 2 3 and 4 okay so first we'll consider first node here so so how many branch is going away b a and d b a and d are going away from the nodes so for first we write for a a is going going away from the node positive 1 b is also going away from node 1 positive 1 and d also is going away from the node 1 and c is not present in the node e also not present and f also is not present in the one node okay now for second node which branch is connected b e and c b is coming towards the nodes and e and c is away from the node so first we will write b is coming c is going away e is also going away and d f and a is not present in node 2 we will write zero okay now for node 3 which branch is coming c is coming a is coming and f is going away so for a we will write here minus 1 for c we will write also minus 1 coming towards the node and f is going away otherwise it is zero now for node 4 which branch is connected d e and f all are coming towards the node so we we'll write here minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 otherwise it is zero okay so how to check the answer our answer is right or not here see the column will equal to 0 1 minus 1 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 0 means our answer is right so we we'll write in matrix work and this is complete incidence matrix complete incidence matrix will be 1 1 0 1 0 0 Zero minus one one zero one zero minus one zero minus one zero zero one zero 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 minus one minus one and minus one. Okay, so this is complete incidence matrix. Now, what will be the reduced incidence matrix? So, in reduced incidence matrix, we'll delete any one of the row from this complete incidence matrix so we'll deleting this row so complete so reduce incidence matrix a is given as 111000 so this is complete incidence matrix this is reduce incidence matrix and this is complete incidence matrix okay so how to find the incidence matrix by removing the last row or any one of the row from this complete incidence matrix we get reduced incidence matrix so this is how we have find the incidence matrix